Hello, Ken. I just wanted to start this episode by saying thank you for all the love and support. I really appreciate it. And welcome back. Uh, I'm playing college football revamped. I am the offensive coordinator for the Michigan Wolverines. And I got a surprise for you all today. I, uh, I decided to use the playbook editor for college football revamp to make my own plays and uh, I put them into my playbook. So we're going to see how that goes today. Um, because of that, I moved Cade McNamara back to my starting position uh, because he is a more accurate and more uh, has better awareness. So I think he's going to fit uh, my new concepts better. And we'll see how it goes. I'm really excited for you all to check it out. I uh, <laughs> It should be interesting. Uh, making your own plays is a bit of a process, but hopefully it'll be worth it. I think it'll be fun. Um, but now recruiting, um, no commits and really not a lot happening in recruiting. I didn't have to put any new points on anybody else, uh, but we do have a couple visits scheduled now. See Jared Humphrey, um, has already come in. Most of these guys have already come in. There we go. Okay. So AJ Foster is coming in week 15 that's the only week he was available unfortunately he has got two visits before that so i'm afraid we might lose him before he, we even get a chance to get him on campus um we got d tackle willie kaplan coming in week 12 and justin jackson uh defensive end coming in on week 12 as well so hopefully we can lock uh oops, hopefully we can lock a couple of those guys up and continue to build this recruiting class Last week we beat our rival, Michigan State, uh, barely. The, start, the game started out well. Uh, we got up 17-0, I believe it was, and then in the fourth quarter they scored a couple times to close the gap to 14-17. Uh, so we did end up winning, but only by three. It should have been much better, but the offense stalled out again. So we're hoping. You know, we got a 2-6 and six Maryland. We do have to go to Maryland, but again, they're only 2-6. and six. So hopefully our offense can perform better than they did last week. Let's get into this. Um, the only change I made on uh, offense was putting Cade McNamara back in as my starter. I am going to also, uh, we'll do this in game, but I will change. I'm going to try putting my tight ends in and giving them some looks in the new plays that I created. By mostly because that uh, the most of the new plays I put in will focus on the short passing game, uh, the screen game in particular. So I'm hoping if I get a couple tight ends on the field, then then we can uh, break some guys for some yards. All right, let's uh, let's kick first. Let's see how the defense does. Our defense has been playing lights out, basically uh, keeping us in games and helping us secure the win. So I do not have a problem putting them on the field first. They do not disappoint. It's always nice. Uh, let's go to formation subs. All right, so the plays that I put in are shotgun empty quads. I did put this in uh, a formation previously, so I think it kept my... Yep, that one's still good. So let's go to shotgun five wide receiver. Put Eubanks there. Ooh, I gotta go up here. I'm gonna put Eric all on this side. And I think I'm gonna throw uh I'll throw Giles Jackson there in the that inside receiver spot. And we'll see what this does for us. So we're going to throw some of these crazy concepts at him right out the gate. Just to see what happens. There's my shotgun. There we go. Empty quads. Alright, 61x choice. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Let's see, I got some I got some craziness going on with these the plays. It's a little bit of a mix of the uh, run and shoot uh, option route concepts with some underneath passing. 
I mostly just tried to blend a uh, little bit of air raid concepts with the run and shoot. So I still got some guys going vertical, but because I got five guys going out uh, for passes, I was able to work some underneath routes in as well. Uh, I'll actually show you in five wide here a good example. 61x choice there. You can see I got mesh concept going underneath, which is an air raid concept, but I also got verticals with an option route to get up the field. So we'll see how this works out today. First play was successful, so that's always good. Ooh, not a great decision there. Not on the same page with that one. Uh, let's just see if we can get a quick screen here. With these, con I'm actually thinking about using just these couple playbooks uh, or formations. Sorry, with my creative plays as my base offense, and maybe we'll do that um, as the year goes on, or even uh, next season if I get a head coaching gig somewhere. But the screen game really replaces the run game in these concepts. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how things go. Uh, not off to a particularly great start now. Stalling a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. Five wide. See if we can work somebody open. There we go. All right, it's close enough. We're going. It's going to be fourth. We're going to go for it here. We'll go to 60 go and see if we can get somebody open underneath here. Maybe we can get Eric Hall coming back underneath. Easy first down. There he is. Beautiful. Just what I was hoping would happen. Alright. Empty quads. Uh, 60 go. First and 10. Ball on the 31 yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Right there in the flats if you need him. Okay, yep. Good. So this is kind of why I put uh, I made the change at quarterback because I did expect some of these underneath routes to be opened up, and when we're throwing screens and things like that, I think it's good to have a quarterback who could throw it accurately. So that's kind of why we made some of the changes that we did. Now I'm going to show you some of these crazy plays I designed that are basically a run. It's basically the run game, but a, uh, it's a short passing game as well. So we'll see how this works out. Oh, we dropped it. See, on that little play there, he kind of hesitates and then comes inside. It's kind of like my dive play. At least that's the intention. I want to try a toss play. Maybe we'll try to toss strong. And this play is number eight See if we can drive. just get him to the edge and get a first down out of it. Defensive did put a linebacker on that side, which I'm not he all that excited about. Let's try it. Get him right there in the flats. Beautiful. Everybody's blocking. So that's my run game. That That's replaced my run game. Um, on those plays, I also have my offensive line run blocking because all the passes will be behind the line of scrimmage, so I don't have to worry about an eligible receiver downfield. So that was the thought process, anyways. A little motion wide receiver screen. I like it. Give me a favorable look over there with only two defenders for three blockers. Ball up quick. Unfortunately, we missed. We whiffed on the block. That's unfortunate. We did have numbers over there. And it was set up well. Eubanks just missed on the. Uh, or I think maybe it was all. I don't know. Giles Jackson, maybe. Somebody missed the block out there. That's kind of unfortunate for us. Um, let's see here, let's go empty quads. Motion 
Houston wide receiver screen. It's second and 11. Ball on the 19 yard line. They come out in a five wide set. Okay, decides to roll in the middle, man. And this one could be on the defense. Pass interference. Offense. Oh. Michigan's got a guy that's in a running for a national award. Okay, we might have to go change that one. I do have the one. Awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. There we go. Thought my game froze for a minute. I do have my wide receiver just blocking on the outside on that. That's why they called him on him because we threw it downfield. So I think I'm going to have to change that. We'll have to go and edit that play. That's okay. All right, 20, or, uh, second and 21. Ball on the 29 yard line. And they're going to put here. six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. See if we can get an underneath look going here. Uh oh. Plenty of time in the pocket. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not sure why he did not throw him the ball underneath. He's just standing there. Didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face. Okay, so there might be some bugs to work out in this offense. <laughs> That's all right. We're living and learning. Third and long now after the sack. See if we can get something up the field a little bit. I'm okay with getting something underneath here as well. Just getting us a little bit closer for a field goal, hopefully. We'll see what the defense gives us. It was going deep. Ooh! Double coverage. Can't say as though I uh, approve of that. Okay, we got nothing out of it. That's a bummer. The defense came up huge. There are five That's what they've been doing for us all year. Oh. Oh, nice throw. Cade McNamara fits it in the window. Beautiful. Beautiful throw. Puts it on the money. The offense will come out again okay. hoping to have similar results as their last drive. So the drive didn't initially right go the way that we wanted, but eventually we got it in there. You can see right now with a little help from the defense. Make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. He's pushed out right. of bounds right around the 30. So based on the throws that uh, Cade McNamara is opting to uh, take, I'm assuming that they're playing, playing us pretty deep here in their coverage schemes. There's a lot of stuff underneath has been open, and I'm okay with him taking that. Those are easy throws for easy yards. Not every throw has to go for a touchdown, even though I wish it would. We all wish it would, right? Uh-oh. Okay. He's feeling the pressure a little bit. Uh, let's see. Maybe we'll try. We'll get the bubble screen. From their own 30 yard line. the bubble screen it's for an down. easy first down here. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. The cut block Steps by Johnson. Uh oh. Slings it right. Yeah, it's going to be a flag. I don't like know why he's waiting to throw the, uh, the, to throw the screen. The They're going to decline that, definitely. Jackson so there might be some kinks to work out. That actually, that play there, the little bubble screen, is not one that I actually made. So that one was already in the game. I think there's just maybe a little something with the programming and quarterback throwing screen passes where he holds on to the ball sometimes. Not real sure, but we'll get it figured out. Not too worried about it. Alright, right, fights for four yards. Solid. Let's try to toss weak this play. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. There he is. Ooh, he's got a defender sitting on him. All right. 
Ooh, let's see. It's third down and six to go. Move forward, something Ball underneath here. Line. Little mesh concept underneath. Points. Nope. Ooh. Whoa! That's gonna bring up fourth down. Cade, I'm not sure what the plan was there, bud. Also, looks like my two guys uh, running that mesh route are not reading the defense very well. They're both deciding to curl down into the same spot, which is not ideal. There we go. Run a little hurry up here. Let's keep rolling. Offense lines up in a five wide set in a defense, anticipating pass here. Complete brought down. Maybe in the uh, second half, I'll put Milton in just to see what he does with the offense. I'm curious to see if he decides, uh, just with a different quarterback, if we start pushing the ball downfield a little bit more than McNamara opts to. Just curious. I don't know if that will necessarily happen, but McNamara is really settling for all this, uh, all the underneath passes, which is fine. I just wonder if a different quarterback would uh, would do things differently. They're about four yards away here on third down. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Actually, we'll send it all on the slant route here. He's to the forty. He's tackled. Hold about on. I think he held on. I'm gonna go hurry up. Michigan is up by a touchdown. And a straight bubble screen. Screen to the back, and he can't hold it. Great Boy. job by the defense of getting after really that hesitating to on that right bubble now, screen for some reason. Some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Oops. Okay. Let's see. Second and I'm just run a straight bubble Ball screen out of this formation. Yeah, let's try attacking outside here. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Here's a throw. I don't think he got anything on that. The blocking is just not quite there today on those screens. That one's playing pretty tough. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. Not gonna get there. Unfortunate. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. All right. Let's see if we can get some going on this drive. Oh. That was almost a pick six. Yikes. <laughs> that would have been terrible. That would have been worst case scenario right there. Yikes. From their own 25 yard line. It's second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Slings it. And they make the stop around the 41 yard line. Okay. Do a little inside play. I do have a timeout to use, so probably have to use it here. Okay, that's a little bit of the run look. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked. Quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Uh, a little switch dig. From their own 44 yard line. Second down. Five wide. 
Oh boy, that was worst case scenario. I gotta use my last timeout. Not great. If I'm being honest, I was hoping to be able to uh, save that timeout. Does not seem like that's going to happen. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Yep. Oh no. That'll be the end of the half. Bummer. Excellent job here by the defense to sniff that one out before it turned into a first down. Maryland will use their final timeout. That's a bummer. All right, we're going to make that change. We're going to put Milton in. Just because I'm curious to see what he does with the uh, these offensive schemes. See if he continues to opt for underneath routes. If he'll start to push the ball a bit more vertically. Um, I also feel like I need to work some of these inside uh, runs. And here we go with the offense. Ready to get the going again. <laughs> work those plays a little bit They'll more. Just try to keep the defense receivers. honest. Actually, I'm gonna go vertical here. So if they got a single high safety. Catches it and okay. he's looking for more. And yep. down he goes. Right it's around good. the it's good play. Richardson's in the tackle at the 40 yard line. First down. From their own 40 yard line. First okay. down. Michigan is up a score. Get up field. Get up field. <laughs> Man, if he'd have turned and got upfield on that instead of continuing to run into his lineman, there might have been something there. Honestly, I was hopeful for a second. The 60 HY option. coming up here. Ball on their own 43. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Nice. Okay. So maybe coincidence. Maybe it's just because the defense decided to come out and press and we beat it. But Milton already has looked downfield and McNamara really did not push the ball downfield except for the one touchdown pass. Um, and we were already pretty close to the goal line thanks to the defense. So not really sure we can take away much from that first play. Switch curl post. Let's do We've that. First and ten. Ball on the thirty-one. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Nice. And he's tackled right away. Okay, so Matt uh, Milton is finding some of these vertical routes, and that makes me very happy. And they've got the dive package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. So maybe it's Milton moving forward. Oh, <laughs> how about that for timing? I'm like, oh, maybe Milton's the guy. And he immediately throws a pick at the goal line. They return it for a touchdown. Woofies. <laughs> uh, the timing. Does the timing get any better than that? My goodness. How funny. Yeah, maybe this is the dude. Pick. Six. As we're marching for a touchdown ourselves. Brutal. Cannot throw a late curl, my friend. Can't do it. Okay, he's going to take off and run. Nice. It's a good little run. This is just a perfect example why uh, I've been so frustrated playing Milton because... See some green in front of him. He plays he off, really, really well, but then he'll make just a boneheaded mistake, and it's tough. Uh oh. He steps up. And he throws it away. This one will be interference, but who's it going to be called on? Okay. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Hmm. Let's see. First 
and long now after the penalty. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Okay, so we're finding that some of these plays are uh, better designed for when you're actually playing the games and not for coaching mode. He went out of bounds and then came back and caught it because quarterback uh, just doesn't throw the ball when he's supposed to. Of a bummer. It's kind of a bummer. I'm gonna try a little slot screen here. And they're gonna put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. <laughs> oh no, I'm not sure what happened there. That play was broken from the start. He immediately decided to tuck and run, I guess. I'm not really sure what was the thought process was there. Hmm. Right. Third down now. They need to get it out to midfield. They come out in an empty backfield. Well, they're coming on the blitz. Hard at the yeah. Uh oh. Okay, so those concepts may be not great for a base offense. We'll have to play around with that a little bit more. There's still plenty of time to keep Maybe we should just get back to what we were doing. Here. I don't think they need to feel any before. anxiety about trailing. They get nice yardage on that run. Haskins gained seven yards on that play. That's the greatest blocking in the world, but we got the first down. Start to work the run game a little bit since we haven't. I was playing around with my designed plays. Which was a mixed bag of results, I must admit. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Hands it off. He fights forward to about the 40. I feel like given the right, uh, or given the opportunity to recruit specifically for those, that five wide concept, maybe. I just, I don't, we just don't have the quarterback for it right now, I don't think. Oh my so gosh, drops it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? How are you going to go dropping that? That's painful. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, no, that's bad. That's very bad. Okay. Coach is struggling today. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Struggling. Gets to about the 27 yard line. Line's not playing all that well. My wide receivers aren't blocking well. Don't have a whole lot that's going well for us right now, unfortunately. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on their own 27. If we match numbers on the inside and we still can't run on them, that's a pretty big problem. Out of bounds at the 31. That's a gain of four. Third down. Well. 
Okay. Let me see. Come on. Let's see if they roll that safety back down. Maybe we'll four verticals look. Good job picking up the blitz, and we do nothing with it. Are you kidding me? Milton, throw the ball, man. They brought a blitz. Somebody's got to be there. Inside seam route. On the right-hand side there. Gosh, Milton, come on, bud. You got to find him. That would have been a big play. Okay, uh, either our defense or special team scored, which is huge for us. Let's see if we can capitalize. What is that? I mean, honestly, what is that? Did he just drop a duck on somebody's head? <laughs> I think that's what just happened there. Oh no! <laughs> From their own twenty-yard line. Uh, right. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. <laughs> Play still's got me chuckling. Uh, uh. He dropped a duck on somebody's head. <laughs> I mean, I know he was trying to go to the running back there, but gosh, that just looked awkward and ridiculous. And he's tackled at the 34 yard line. All right, under two minutes. We need to start working this ball up the field if we can, which hopefully we will. Here's a quick throw. Well, not throwing like that, we're not. Yuck. Yuck. That's all I can say about that pass. Yuck. From their own 34 yard line. Second down. Got a man, watch out here. Tackle at okay. 43. This is not the position I want to be in this year when I have zero faith in my quarterback. This is tough. See? I mean, dude, <laughs> I can't give you easier passes than that. It's an out route for crying out loud, and you're rolling in that direction. Oh, for crying out loud. For crying out loud. Makes it out to about the 49. <laughs> yeah, you guys see what I'm working with here? Holy cow. <laughs> that is literally the easiest throw I can give you. What? <laughs> Holy cow. I don't even know what's happening right now. Like, I mean, where was that pass even going? What was the thought process there, bud? We just chuck it over his head? That was the plan? That was the whole plan. Yikes. Uh, yikes. Okay, let's something happen with the feet. Because it definitely ain't happening with the arm today, so I'll take that. It's fine. Well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. Oh man. Oh man. I think we had that set up well too, and it just couldn't get rid of the ball. 
Well. This, is the 12th play this just drive. went from being in a decent situation to being really bad. Sacked on a screenplay? Are you kidding me? Did that even happen? Oh, come on. Dude. Alright, this is this is for the game, basically. Gosh. Well, here goes nothing, I guess. Come on. Thank you. He's all the way home. Touchdown. <laughs> Where has that been all game? Oh man. Late in the fourth quarter now. One Staying alive. We're gonna have to go to overtime. Hopefully, we hit the field, uh, the extra point. Don't let them score. Okay. Overtime. They went and scored. Let's see what we can do. First down, ten to go. My goodness. There you go. He's tackled at the seventeen. Really going to lean on my run game, I feel like, in overtime. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Oh, boy. He fights forward to about the 16. Hmm. And here's another third down. Yep, just another third down. Oh, come on, man. You are killing me, Smalls. Just killing me. Another fourth down. Well, that'll do it. Michigan falls to the Maryland Terrapins. So this one goes final. A hard fought close game. Maryland So uh, I guess my playbook, my creative playbook, maybe not the answer. Uh, too many plays were basically broken in coach's mode I I went and played it a little bit in uh, with me controlling the players um, and that went fine because I know when to throw the ball to those guys that are coming underneath on those screens and stuff but the computers inconsistency on throwing that and then giving us penalties was just too much for our offense to overcome so I think this loss falls on me I think we could all safely say that. The quarterback play also struggled again, and we knew that was going to come to bite us in the butt at some point this season. It just happened to be today at Maryland. So, perfect season down. It is what it is. We pick up the pieces and, and try better next time. All right, so it is a uh, heartbreaking overtime loss for the Michigan Wolverines. They, they lose to the Maryland Terrapins 28-21 in overtime. It's going to be a tough pill to swallow, but uh, I forgot to look at stats, actually. Let's go up here. All right. So, I mean, McNamara definitely found more guys. His completion percentage was way better. Um, he was really working the underneath routes. And honestly, his numbers aren't that bad for playing only in one half. And really, I think when I go back and look at the tape, it's going to be penalties that really hurt us while he was in in the first half. So, I don't know. I think there's some things to work with there, for sure. Eric Hall. Okay. Pretty solid day. Interceptions, 91 yards. Charles Jackson working underneath. We just couldn't find a way to push the ball downfield very much. I think that hurt us a little bit today. Our blocking was a bit rough today. We just didn't play well. I didn't call the game very well. Kemp had three sacks. That's pretty nice. Pretty quiet day for the defense. I mean, we just, as a team, we just didn't play well today, and that, that cost us the game. So, 
is what it is. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, let me know how you're feeling the series. Let me know what you think about the new creative plays. Should I keep going with it? I think I am going to. I might clean up some of those screen passes and maybe add a couple new screens um, and just see what we can make work. Um, but yeah, I think that's uh, there was some signs there that maybe I gave up on it too early. I think I gave up on McNamara a little too early. So we'll keep uh, pre keep um, marching on and see what next week brings. Remember, all love, all the time. Peace.